Up next is Tulsa and head coach Philip Montgomery. Tulsa is 1-5 and five overall, 0-3 oh in the American. Golden Hurricane was in action last Friday against USF. USF won the game 25-24. to 24. Uh, Tulsa goes out of conference for their game this week. They'll be in action Saturday at Arkansas for a noon Eastern uh, start, 11 a.m. Central, on the SEC Network. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would uh, take a minute to tie up the game against USF, please. And we expect to see you take the road to face uh, Arkansas on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I was very proud of our guys. I mean, we we, uh, definitely had our chances that our team played well enough to win, just had to finish it out. Um, But obviously, South Florida, very, very talented team, number 23 in the nation. And and, uh, like I said, I thought our guys competed and played extremely hard and extremely well. Um, Just needed to make a couple of plays right there at the end to, to pull that off. Um, got a big uh, test this week. I mean, traveling to Arkansas, always a tough place to play. Uh, getting an opportunity to go against an SEC opponent. And, uh, you know, got to get our guys back up and going. And uh, have another opportunity this week uh, on a Saturday at 11 a.m. kickoff. So excited about the opportunity. Got to continue to keep growing and getting better and, and uh, working towards our goals. Okay, questions for Coach Philip Montgomery, please. Star 1 on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and the operator will introduce you. Our first question is from Bob Holt with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Please go ahead. Thanks. Uh, hey, Coach, how you doing? Um, I'm good. I know you guys had a lot of close – I'm okay. I know you had a lot of close losses last year. You've had a lot of tough ones this year that, that you could have won. Just kind of what's your mindset? What's the team's mindset? How how you how you handling all this? Well, I mean, guys are guys are being very resilient. We stay tight together, um, knowing that we're close. Just uh, we got to take that next step, get over the hump. And so uh, they're they're working extremely hard. We're battling each and every week, and uh, we've got some young guys that are learning a lot and, and growing. And we got to continue to keep making those steps. I know it looks like you got a pretty good uh, tandem running back. You know, or do, do with Brooke and Taylor. What, what could you say about those guys? What what makes them pretty good? Well, I think they're both guys that understand what we're doing offensively. They they run with uh, the type of passion that you want them to to possess. Uh, they they feed off of each other extremely well. I think they're balanced in the standpoint. They're two different styles of runners, and, and so to be able to kind of Mix and match those guys has has been, uh, you know, successful for us throughout the years, and so we we feel like we've got two good ones. And uh, you know, Javon played last week and played extremely well, so we've got to do a good job of continuing to keep mixing those guys in and giving them opportunities. I know you made the switch at quarterback a couple weeks ago with, with Boomer. I, what led to that, and how's he doing? And is he still your guy for this week? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was one of those things. We've been we've been turning the ball over a little bit too much, and and uh, you know we made a change there. Um, Boomer's growing and and getting better every day. Obviously, we'd like to speed up the the learning curve of it all, but uh, he's a guy that has got great leadership ability. He's he's anxious to get back on the practice field and continue to keep growing. Made some plays for us the other night. Missed. Missed some big things too, so uh, you go through those peaks and valleys with with young quarterbacks. You got to continue to keep putting them in situations and helping them grow. Thanks. You have other questions for Coach Montgomery? Please star one on your telephone keypad if so. Our next question is from Tom Murphy with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Please go ahead. Yeah, hey, Philip, you mentioned Arkansas, always a tough place to play. Have you, you had any experience cross paths with uh, John Chavis or Chad in any way or been in games here? Yeah, Chad and I have crossed paths, obviously. He was in the American Conference for the last couple of years, so we've we've had the opportunity to go against each other a couple of different times. Haven't haven't with John. I uh, uh, haven't even at other stops, just never really crossed roads with him. Uh, got tons of respect for him. I mean, he's been uh, one of the top defensive coordinators in the nation throughout the years, and so uh, it'll be a, an interesting contest to, to kind of go against his defense and what they're doing. 
Um, you know, they've got a ton of athletic guys running around, and uh, they're close just like we are. And so um, it'll be a it'll be a good contest. And you know, with our schools being so close, uh, there ought to be a good turnout for it. Gotcha. And you know, they had some guys get hurt, some skill guys, a quarterback story, and two running backs. I'm just wondering, um, you know, if, if you know, um, you know, what you're what you're preparing for there. Is there a little uncertainty who at Matt who might be playing those spots? Yeah, I'm sure there 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 is on our side of it. I don't know about their side of it. I mean, you, you know, with with story, it looks like he was trying to get back in there late in the game. It looked like to me he got a concussion and, and went out. You know, once he hits concussion protocol, uh, you know, it just depends on how fast the recovery part of that is. Um, but we've got to prepare for for both guys and uh, get a good game plan because they're they are extremely different in, in what they do. And so uh makes it a little more difficult on our, our part from, from that standpoint. And, again, you know, at the running back spot, they've had so many guys kind of in and out with injuries and other things. Uh, so we've got to prepare for all those things. Yeah, and you mentioned just a couple plays. I mean, what, what sticks out to you in um, not holding on to that, that game on Friday night? Well, I mean – we, we've got a just like a lot of teams do. I mean, we got that 24-hour rule that, you know, we can be happy or sad uh, all we want to during that 24 hours. But we got to get back up. We've got another game coming up. Uh, you can't let that carry over into the next one. And uh, we've got to do a good job of being resilient from that standpoint. And our guys have done a good job of that this year. Uh, we've had a lot of close losses and, and close games. Uh, we got to get back on the field and uh, get an opportunity to get better and keep driving towards our goal. We have a follow-up question from Bob Holt with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Coach, just wondering, how do you think your defense has played, and who would you uh, maybe tab as some of your defensive playmakers and how, the, how those best guys have played? Yeah, I think our defense has done a great job all year long. I mean, we've we've played some uh, or faced some very tough offenses. Our guys have been able to adjust and do some different things. Uh, I think this is one of the the better defenses we've had since I've been here. Uh, you know, we've got some young guys playing on it, but they've stepped up and played extremely well. You know, McKinley Whitfield in the back end has has been a guy that's been around here for for several years, and his his Level of play continues to increase. Been really proud of him. You know, Travis Gibson played extremely well, I thought, last week. And, uh, you know, both of our linebackers, I thought, did an outstanding job. So uh, we're, we got to continue to st- kill, still keep getting better uh, on that part of it. Uh, we had a couple opportunities the other night to, to uh, get some turnovers and get off the field in some third-down situations uh, that we needed to get off. Uh, but overall, I've been extremely proud of our defense. I, I know you guys had a 10-win season a couple of years ago. Have you been surprised at how things have gone for you the last two, or just kind of what, what do you think's happened? Do you think you guys can get get back up to that high high spot again? Yeah, I always believe we can get back to it. I mean, uh, we've had a, a couple of tough seasons here back to back. You know, last year we had a ton of injuries that that really set us back and. This year we're continuing to, to battle through some of those things. Um, like I said, I, I think uh, I think we're a better football team than what our record shows. We just gotta we gotta finish some games. We gotta take care of the football and and uh, give ourselves opportunities uh, there late to to go ahead and cash in and win. Thanks, Coach. Thanks so much for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.